This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course, Lesson 17, and part of Course D, where it is Lesson 14, if else with B Puzzle 6. Collect all the nectar using as few blocks as possible. Okay, it wants us to use mo no more than seven blocks. So at first, I'm going to do this without looping, right, without using any repeat or loop, because I want to see what the process is, right? So let's move forward. Once I move forward, I want to get some nectar, okay? Then I'm going to move forward again, get nectar, move forward again. Hmm, we're already going to have way too many blocks. So I want to consolidate some. First, wall path ahead is probably the best way to do this because each side has a different amount of movements. So in order to use a few blocks, I'm going to say, hey, B, if there's a path ahead of you, move. <laughs> right? So as long as there's a path, keep going forward. We can do more than just forward in this, though. So if there's a path, I can move forward, but each time I move forward, I want to get nectar. Oh wait, that won't work, because when we hit here, there's nothing to get nectar from. So I need to ask, hey B, is there a flower there? If there's a flower, get nectar. So let me test this out with step to explain it. So first up, wall path ahead. So right now I'm asking the computer or the bee, is there a path ahead? True, yes. Oh, okay, well then you're going to run all this code. So it drops in and runs move forward. I move forward one. Now I ask, hey, is there a flower here? If at flower. And the computer right now would say true or yes, you're at a flower. So do, and it should do get nectar. Yep, that just went to zero. And now we drop below and we hit the bottom of our loop. So we're going to go back to the top and say wall path ahead. Yes, true, there's a path ahead. Okay, drop inside the code and move forward then. And now we're going to ask again, if at flower. False, not at a flower. Well, if this is false, we just drop and run the line below it. No line below it, we hit the bottom of our loop and go back to the top. Boom. And now we just checked if there was a path ahead. There is, so we move forward. Now we have our if statement again. If at flower. True, we're at the flower, so you're going to see this one go to a zero. And now we go beneath, hit the bottom of our loop, so you're going to see us check if there's a path. All right? This is looking good so far, but when we get to the edge, we're going to hit it. So which way do I need to turn? Right? Left? Well, I think left. And this being a square, or I guess a rectangle, that means each turn I'll need to go left on. Well, if each turn I need to go left on, and it's a rectangle, I know I can repeat this for each side. How many sides does a rectangle have? Four. Since this works for one side, it's going to work for all of them. Let's give it a shot. Ta-da! Awesome. Let's keep going.